exhorting his followers to fight. Put the armoured man forward and keep the unarmoured one behind. Grit your teeth because this will make the sword skip off the skull and dodge on the sides of the spears where it changes the direction of their blades. Close the eyes because it strengthens their spirit and gives peace to the heart. Kill the voices because this will keep off spiritlessness. Do not let your banner bend nor leave it alone. Do not give it to anyone except the brave and the defenders of honour among you because they alone endure the befalling of troubles. They surround the banners and encircle them on both sides, their rear and their front. They do not separate from them lest they give them to the enemy. They do not go ahead of them lest they leave them alone. Everyone should deal with his adversary and also help his comrade by his own life and should not leave the adversary to his comrade lest both his own adversary and his comrade join against him. By Allah, even if you run away from the sword of today, you will not remain safe from the sword of the next world. You are the foremost among the Arabs and great figures. Certainly, in running away, there is the wrath of Allah, unceasing disgrace and lasting shame. And certainly, run who runs does not lengthen his life, nor does anything come to intervene between him and his day of death. Who is there to go towards Allah like the thirsty going to the water? Paradise lies under the edges of spears. Today the reputations about the valour of warriors will be tested. By Allah, I am more eager to meet them in combat than they are for returning to the houses. O Lord, if they reject truth, disperse their group, divide their words' opinion, and destroy them on account of their sins. They will not budge from their stand till the continuous striking of spears causes piercing of wounds through which wind may pass, and the hitting of swords cuts through the skull, cleaves bones, and breaks forearms and legs, till they are attacked by contingent after contingent and assaulted by detachments, which are followed by reserves for support, till the cities are continuously assailed by force after force, and till the horses trample even the extreme ends of the lands the tracks of their beast and their meadows.